Coming up in this week's show, as the Cape builds up for the highlight of their Cape season, we speak to trainers and jockeys outside of the Western Cape about the field. We help you find your winner by looking back at the facts and figures of the past 10 runnings of the Sun Met and where you can go to to follow the build up on social media. The 135th running of the Sun Met celebrated with Mum takes place at Kenilworth in just six days time. It's Africa's richest race day with the Sun Met offering a 5 million rand stake and a further 15 million up for grabs for the other 11 races on the day's full program. There are four grade ones, a grade two, a listed, three non-black type races and four handicaps. From sprints to the classic distances and staying races, as well as races for juveniles and older horses, there's something for almost every horse and racing enthusiast. Whilst horses will take centre stage on Saturday the 27th, it's not just them for which Kenilworth is known. Kenilworth Racecourse is a historic patch of land in the centre of the hustle and bustle of the suburbs. It's a seasonal wetland and home to the best preserved area of Cape Flat Sand Fainbos in the world. Undisturbed for more than 100 years, the 52 hectare nature reserve hosts hundreds of fauna species. At least 20 species are listed as endangered. Besides the endemic species, there are two plants listed as extinct in the wild that have been introduced to the area for conservation. What's more, the reserve supports a small but healthy community of reptiles, birds and small mammals, including the critically endangered microfrog and Cape Platana. Nature conservation is close to the hearts of all South Africans and it's significant that Kenilworth and horse racing are able to play a part in the preservation of our natural heritage. This Saturday, Kenilworth will come alive as our country's best horses will go to post over 2,000 metres for a stake of 5 million rand. A full field of 20 horses will line up for the Grade 1 highlight of the Cape summer season. Run at weight for age, three times Lomoran's Queen's Plate winner Legal Eagle heads the field. The Inform Snaith Racing Team sends out no less than a quarter of the field, with another five runners being of the fairer sex. I like Marin Oreska of the older horses. I think he ran a great race last time and he's got that come on look. And um, I'm quite strong on the filly O Susanna. Three-year-olds have got a good, uh, good record in this race and I think she's quite special. I think it's an interesting field, same old hard it is up at the top of the weights. Uh, I think oh, Susanna is the filly to beat, she's got the pedigree, she's shown when she goes over further, she's very good. She trotted up in a group one last time, 51 and a half. I'm, I'm, I think they've all got it to do. I'm still a great fan of Legal Eagles, everyone says he's not going to go at, uh, the trip, but he's, he's, he's run close enough before in this race and Marin Oresco loves it. Those are the two at the top, but I, I'm big on oh, Susanna. Yeah, Michelle, I think the Met is always an open race, big, big field. Yeah. Um, I think we've got a strong end with uh, Legal Eagle. I just think uh, maybe they're just riding a bit more conservatively this time. I don't see one who can't win in 2000. He won the derby as a three-year-old. But you've got to respect uh, all the way the horse of Basses, yeah. the Candice Robinsons. Um, phew, and I hope Safe Harbour can run a place. But a uh, very competitive field and it'd be lovely to, lovely to be there. I think it's a very competitive field this year. I think a lot of the horses are even... Uh, sort of evenly weighted and um, there's, there's, there's quite a few horses in the field that I, I actually like in the race. So I, I like Captain America, I think he's, a, he's an old campaigner and uh, he's, he's really done well and, and for the owners and everyone I just wish him the best of luck. And then of, of course the, the big horse Legal Eagle, he's done absolutely nothing wrong, he's fantastic. And I don't think anyone should leave out O Susanna, she ran a cracker this last weekend winning a, a lovely race and Justin Snaith, he always pops up in these big races. <laughs> well, Legal Eagle is a class horse, you know, the Met is it's a lovely race and I think, you know, now that's wait for age, um, Legal Eagle would be my first choice. I know they're stretching him, him over the 2,000 metres, but he's class. And you've got to put in a horse like Copper Force because he's running the Queen's Plate, it was huge. Yeah, you know, Sun Met's a, a big race, one of the big three in South Africa and everyone wants to ride in it, everyone wants to win it. So. Um, I like the way Marin Esco has been coming on. I think it's a shades of, of his July prep in the drill hall. That run in the Queen's Plate was, was an excellent run, running on very strong. The extra is going to suit him. I think he's probably the horse I'll follow. Michelle, firstly, I like it um, now being turned into a wait for age contest. I think it um, 
brings a, a type of purest form yes. into the race, um, purest form of racing, and uh, let the best horse win. It'll be great to see Legal Eagle win. Um, I think it'll be hard for him. He had a really um, tough run in, in the Queen's Plate. Having said that, uh, we shouldn't doubt um, that Sean Taylor will have him spot on. Who do you like for the Sun, mate? Uh, Captain America. And why do you like him? Because on the last run was a, a nice run, but it was unlucky for Corne. Yes. yes. And who's your fancy? Yeah, same like Jawa, my name Captain America. Yeah. What is it about him that you like? Yeah, my I think he's a very good horse, man. I think he's going to run a good race this time, man. Okay. And who's your pick for the race? Marin Oresco. He's a nice horse. He ran a crack over July last year, and I think if he's fresh on there, He's going to take it. And it's always uh, exciting to watch these kind of races, the top horses in the country competing. And um, I can't see Legal Eagle getting beat. Um, I'd love to see the little man, Marin uh, win it. But um, yeah, always nice to watch uh, top horses. I'm very bullish about Legal Eagle. Yeah. I think um, the way the race is structured with the weights now and his merit rating, I think we could see another multiple win of the Met. Um, I think Legal Eagle is going to be very hard to beat um, and it's going to be good for the public because favourites winning are, are good for racing. Yeah. Us as race, South African racing fans, we all have a soft spot for Legal Eagle. Yeah. But um, although him being a previous Derby winner, he just seems to be knocked off at 10 furlong level since this Derby win. But uh, we would obviously be rooting for him. Justin Snaith holds a strong hand. Yes. And uh, when you get to races of that calibre in South Africa, a lot of horses, you can swing a blanket over many of them that all stand undeniable chances. Um, yes, Justin Snaith, I think he's um, thrown a cat amongst the pigeons with his filly, with uh, the low weight. Yes. Um, she won impressively last time. Yes. But uh, against that mob, as the boys have been around the block, she's going to have a work cut out for her, albeit how good she is. Barring that, uh, it's going to be a very interesting race. And I think it's a magnificent uh, showcase for South African racing and for the world to see. These 20 will be running on hallowed ground as the Western Cape is not only the birthplace of horse racing in South Africa, but the Metropolitan was first run at Kenilworth as far back as 1883. For just over a decade between 1895 and 1909, it was run more than once a year. In 1901, racegoers couldn't get enough of a good thing when it was run five times in March, April, June, October and December. It was not run in 1914 and 1918 due to World War I and in 1943 and 44 it was run at Milneton with Kenilworth being used during the war years as a military base. The Met was traditionally run in November before it moved to January in 1947 when Thorium beat Cape Heath by three and a half lengths. Originally the race was run over a mile but by 1915 it had been extended to 1800 meters and finally set in at 2000 meters in 1948 which remains the running distance today. A milestone came when in 1973 a decision was made to run the Metropolitan as a conditions race, in other words, a wait for age plus penalties, instead of a handicap. In 1978, the race was already firmly established as one of the big three races in the country. But it came alive for those outside racing circles when politician took to the turf to become one of the best horses ever to race in South Africa. Since then, the role of honour reads like the who's who of South African horse racing, including Favaros, Horse Chestnut and the incredible Pocket Power, who scored a hat-trick from 2007 to 2009. For many attending the Sun Met, it could well be about simply having a flutter on the day, whilst for others a glance over the facts and figures could be more telling in deciding on how to structure bets. In the past 10 years, the most successful trainers have been the Bass team with three winners. They've also posted three of the first four in 2010 and two of the first three in 2009. This year they saddle number three Marinaresco, 15 Horizon and 17 Nightingale. Rick Crawford has previously won with Whiskey Baron and Futura. 
This year, he sends out number two Captain America, four Sail South, and seven Nebula. Sean Terry has finished second three times in the last three years, twice with Legal Eagle and once with Gold Onyx. Legal Eagle returns once again in a bid to claim the race that's eluded him, along with number 18, Safe Harbor. Bernard Fade Herb has been the most successful jockey in the past 10 years, having twice ridden Pocket Power to victory and Futura in 2015. In addition, he's been third twice, and this year rides number 14, African Night Sky. Anton Marcus rode Hill 54 into the number one box in 2014, and been second on no less than four occasions. He is once again aboard Legal Eagle. Grand Fanikirk is ultra-consistent, having been placed in the last four runnings. He rides number 20, O oh Susanna. If you've taken a liking to a particular horse, but are discouraged by its odds, don't be. The last three winners of the Sun Met have won at unlikely odds. Whiskey Baron at 6 to 1, Smart Call at 8 to 1, and Futura at 2 to 1. In fact, in the past 10 years, four favorites have won, Futura, Igugu, and Pocket Power on two occasions. Big betting moves have included Smart Call, who shortened from 40 to 1 to 8 to 1 to win in 2016, while Marshall Eagle drifted all the way out to 80 to 1 before crossing the line first in 2013. The Sun Met is generally a closely fought race, with the average winning distance being 1.29 lengths. Pocket Power recorded the narrowest margin when just 0.25 lengths ahead of Dancer's Daughter. But Smart Call took one back for the Phillies when trumping the field by three and a half lengths in 2016. Although low number draws are slightly preferred on the Kenilworth track, draw 8 and 14 have been successful three times each in the past 10 years, and draw 9 twice. The last three years have seen the winner jump from barrier draw 8. This year, it's the starting position of African Night Sky with Cram Bambouli at 14 and Gold Standard at 9. Top weights often win the Sun Met as opposed to big handicaps such as the Vodacom Durban July. Nine winners in the last 10 years have carried 57 or more. With the race now run at weight for age, 18 of the 20 runners will carry 57 or more, although O oh Susanna looks an interesting prospect at just 51.5 kgs. At a 15-point differential in merit ratings with Legal Eagle, she will still need to improve to feature at weight for age. The Colts and Geldings haven't always had it their way, with Smart Call, Igugu and River Jetez winning in 2016, 12 and 10. This year, five fillies and mares will line up in numbers 16 to 20, Nother Russia, Nightingale, Safe Harbor, Cascapedia, and O oh Susanna. The event guarantees fine horse racing, style, fashion, and entertainment at the height of the Mother City's summer season. So what is it that you need to know about the day? Kenilworth Racecourse will be turned into Cape Town's very own catwalk when style ahead of the field encourages all Sun Med racegoers to come dressed in colours, prints and textures inspired by Africa. Don your Afro Sheik attire and get ready to celebrate Africa's richest race day in true style. One of the most talked about activities at the Sun Met has to be the after party. Organizers have pulled out all the stops to bring you the best of South African talent, featuring DJ Kent, DJ Zintler, Europhonic, Mai Kassa and Vin Diesel. Make sure you and your friends join the party to end a day of glamour and style. In 2017, guests did not go thirsty. From the time the gates opened at 10.30 to the last notes of the after party at 11 p.m., approximately 3,000 bottles of GH Mum Champagne were opened on the field. If you consider that there are approximately 49 million bubbles in a bottle, it explains the particularly effervescent crowd. How bubbly! 
The inaugural Sunmate celebrated with GH Mum was a social occasion both on and off the track. Looking at Twitter alone, hashtag Sunmet was estimated to have reached almost 1 million people. Now that's something to talk about. You can follow the Sunmet 2018 on their Twitter page at SunmetZA. Like the event on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash the Sunmet. Join their Google Plus circle and connect with them on LinkedIn. You can also check out photos on Instagram and follow the Pinterest boards on what's happening in and around Cape Town as part of the build-up to the race. The true ability of a thoroughbred is measured by its innate speed, so it's apt then that the fastest human on the planet, Usain Bolt, will be making a turn at Kenilworth on Saturday. Be sure to catch him and get his autograph. That's a wrap for this week's show. We hope we have kept you on track in finding the right horse to back in the 2018 running of the Sun Met. Okay, so this is where we stand to do the shoot. This is where Alan Duncan, our cameraman, puts me standing on this wall in order to bring you the best news, views and previews for the Sun Met.